Could everyone tell me what is the ideal breast size? Like one that you could at least like hold in the palm of your hand. I think that is a decent size. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I feel like a C is a good one. I see. Like, yeah. Small C, C, yeah. yeah not you could push it up and have C. more. Yeah. Or you could leave it down and be chilling. Do any of you amazing ladies uh, name your boobs? <laughs> Mine have to do with the size. So. Okay, gotcha. What's everyone's like go-to style of bra that they wear? I honestly only ever really wear sports bras or like bralettes. Um, I'm just not an underwire girly. Like I just I find them so uncomfortable to wear like a full-on bra. Gosh, I, I can only find like select styles. So like the only things I can find are like the balcony type bras. And they all have the wire, and yeah. I need the wire. So, who doesn't like to wear bras? Me, me, Lupe. <laughs> Destiny. I think maybe a clarifying question is like, if you have to leave your home, do you like to wear your bra or not? Comfortable without a bra out in public or no? No, not no. comfortable. No. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. I'm, comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm okay without it, uh, to be honest with you, because I go to Mexico and it's more free, so you can not care about what people say. So I do go out to my rancho and stuff without a bra. I think it depends on the way that people look at you. Like, I think it's not bad to look, it's bad to stare. You should probably come over to this side. I think she should be, yeah, I, yeah, the, like the first. Yeah. Can anyone suck their own nipple? What? <laughs> yes. Oh yes. my god, I'm <laughs> yes. Who said yeah? Yes. 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 Anise all down here also. Not on my yes. resume. Anise, though. you oh, can yeah. suck on your own nipple, Anise. Yeah. Oh I yeah. Think you should me. probably. Go a little bit I don't know where I'm going. So do we feel like the two that could suck their own nipples, they should probably be like At all the way over there? Or yeah. Like, could everyone tell me what in their mind is the ideal breast size? I feel like, mm, like one that you could at least like hold in the palm of your hand. I think that is a decent size. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I feel like a C is a good one. I see. Like, small C. C. Yeah. yeah. Not too big. Not too little. And have more. Yeah. Or you could leave exactly. it down and you're chilling. Yeah. Has anyone ever considered surgery? 100%. Oh, yes. yes. A thousand percent. percent. Every day, right? Yeah. I've actually had surgery already. Do you regret it or are you happy you made that choice? So I actually got it done in Tijuana in Mexico um, with, I'm guessing, not board certified surgeon. I don't necessarily regret it. I just wish I had gone with a better surgeon. I know that like a lot of influence comes from societal standards. Um, but I think ultimately you can always talk to your doctors about, you know, what would be the best decision for you. But if you have the money and the time and you can do it, like do whatever is going to make you happy. I feel like you should probably move over there then a little bit. Okay. And then if you went to Tijuana, I'm going to guess it was probably to go get bigger. Yeah. So how old were you guys when you guys got your, you started getting like breast and having to start? Like late eighth grade. Third, fourth grade. I want to say, honestly, like 17. I I feel like for me, like when my breasts started growing, that was like when I started to become a woman. And I don't know, I just feel like that was a big transition part. It's kind of when you get your period for the first time. I feel like people who are like uh, later bloomers might be like a little more towards the right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I think. You want to switch? Yeah, we should switch. Okay. Okay. I think you should go a little bit more over there. Okay. So I'm going to bring you this way. Any back issues? 
Yes. Back pain? Yes. 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 Oh Lower God. back, yeah. I get tension headaches by the end of the day. I think a lot of it is linked to my bra. I do have like the whole back pain and like trap pain situation, but I don't get the tension headaches. So I feel like that should be more this way. What do you guys feel is more likable from like society's viewpoint? I think society tends to favor larger breasts, um, whether it's like the Hollywood, like blonde bombshell situation, or whether it's like a more cultural perspective where like Latinas are expected to be like curvaceous. It's usually large breasts. Yeah, like, that's what yeah, they go for. I agree. For me, when men try to put their opinion on breast size, it makes me want to change who I am to be something that they don't like because I feel like they sexualize breasts so much that it makes me just want to run in the opposite direction of what they want. Yeah, growing up in high school and junior high, it was like so awful for like guys to like backhand compliment, you know, when they're like, oh, like it's okay, you don't have this or you have this that's better. That was always frustrating. when guys would compliment you but also like completely offend you. I've lived in America but I also used to spend my entire summers in Japan and the societal expectations specifically from straight men that judge women are so different. Everybody over there the expectation is to have like smaller breasts whereas in America I feel like a lot of people think that you have to have large breasts. How does everyone feel? I feel like we're good. Yeah, yeah. I'm good with this. So I'm a professional bra fitter. I've been doing it for just over a year. Um, basically, there's two measurements. There's an underbust measurement and there's an overbust measurement. So you take them, tape measure, you'll measure around your under. Bust, that number, if it's even, take that number. If it's odd, round up to an even number. Then you'll take your overbust number um, and each, inch of difference between your underbust and your overbust is a cup size. So for example, I measure 40 around and 45 over. Five inches of difference is A, B, C, D, E. So I'm a 40 E. Okay. Yes. 
I was surprised by Lupe. Just the personality was just so great and infectious. I don't know. I like with big boobs. You, you kind of have to have a little bit of confidence in you. Yeah. Fifth, Maya. Fourth, Destiny. Third, Amanda. Second, Bridget. And first, Anise. I remember talking to my grandma about what I was going to be doing this weekend and my little cousin heard the conversation and I heard him talking to his mom on FaceTime. She was like, she's going to do a booby video. I think she's going to win. <laughs> Cameron, just say your, your bus size. 32B. Ah! <laughs> I'm 38C. So. 28F. 30F. 30G. 42G. 31I. I think I threw them off because I was all the way over there. Yeah, and I'm definitely not there. <laughs> I, I do believe it has to do a lot with the attitude that you bring to yourself. I have a breast size that it's particularly seen as really small and not very appealing because I've always been a big girl and my breasts don't match my body. So it's, a, it's it has been an issue, but I think it's more the way that I carry myself. So who was the one who got breast surgery? Me. Oh, so you got them larger? Yes, I got them larger. I had some breast tissue prior, and then I lost weight, and then I lost my boobs, and then I got them back. But I just wish I went to a better surgeon, that's all. Oh, yeah. No, but they look nice, so. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Did anyone have a different idea of what their breast size was before they just got measured? I thought it was a double D. I thought it was a G. Yeah, I thought it was... It was a 40 E, but I'm a 42 G. I think I'm an A, honestly. Do you guys know what the national average breast size is? No. It's a 34 double D. What? Double D? I'm what? done. What? I'm double freaking D? done. Yes. Exactly. No wonder they're sold Is out. Is bigger than you guys thought it would be or smaller? Yes. Bigger, double D. Bigger. It's the cup. It's the whole thing. Half the stores don't sell that size in store. Right. Like, that's crazy. Like, we all have, we all have boobs. Like, why, why is it so taboo that, like, women have cleavage and large breasts? If you have big boobs and you love them, that's awesome. If they cause you health issues, and you want to change them, that's also awesome. If you have small tits, it f***ing cares. <laughs> Yay, boobs. Cool. Okay. Keep, keep it on it for me, though, because they have a mind of their own. <laughs>